Okay, welcome. Uh, since I did a video before about using Anthropics Claude with Project, let's do one for OpenAI's projects. I'm not sure it works the same, but we'll see here in a second. Let me get rid of this picture so you can see the screen. There we go. So normally you come to OpenAI Chat GPT, it looks like this. Uh, I usually have to open the sidebar and then over here somewhere up and down and all this you'll find projects you want to op create a new one let's just call it uh, I think it's spooky action that's the story anyway okay so now we've got and then I close the sidebar so I I don't have this in my way. And you basically got three little panels or cards, if you want to call them that, where you chat, right in there, where you add knowledge for the project, right in there, and where you add instructions. So let's add, I want to recall an old book I wrote. And can remember in detail. So we will go over each chapter, each chapter. And I won't add any more instructions than that. It's C, maybe I could say C. Yeah, let's see what it's called first before I go any further. Let's say C Spooky Action dot X. Maybe I should change that name. So it has an underscore in it and doesn't have to deal with you know spaces. C spooky action doc X file. I say that. And now since we mentioned it, we can always come back and add it and add more things. But let's add that file as part of its knowledge, I guess you could call it. So here it comes. You see it goes around slowly. Sometimes it's hard to see that thing. And when it's done, it looks like something. In this case, it's a pink piece of paper. So let's see if right away, uh, review your instructions and read your project files. I'm just trying to match the case, see if it'll do this. I'm using GPT-4, I think. Yeah, I like how it says that. I've thoroughly reviewed it. Well, it looks like it looked a little bit because those are character names, Elmer, Victoria, and Salon. So now let's ask it, uh, please list the chapters. Mm -hmm. In... Uh, unlike the past, that looks pretty close to me. So let's uh, ask it about, um, tell me about chapter one. Okay, so far it looks correct. And that's it. What you do after that once, well, I mean, I would recommend that you do a chapter at a time, of course, because it's limited in what it can recall. But once you do that, you could do all sorts of things with the chapter. Get a synopsis. Give me a synopsis of chapter one. Excuse me. Let's see what it does. I hate that down arrow thing. That's a synopsis. And then tell me about 
colon POV tense uh, pacing uh, characters uh, and structure of chapter one. And off it goes. There's the breakdown. Yeah, I seem to do a lot of third person limited here. Not enough dialogue. Although I think this one had more dialogue, but I'm about to merge it into another one. So it doesn't matter. So as you can see, you can do a lot of stuff. It's up to you to know some of these things, which I don't. But I find it helpful. You can dig in if you're if you're game for it. <laughs> You can have it rewrite your paragraphs. So I don't think I would do that, but it's up to you. It can be helpful when it's talking about its reason for revising the text. That can be helpful, but the actual writing output uh, is just not very good. So let me end this and go back to that picture that was up there because we're in OpenAI. And we're doing projects in OpenAI. And I didn't show it, but when you come back, all your stuff's still there. You can change the instructions. You can start working on something else. And it's a good idea, I think, for you to do each chapter as a separate chat. To not try to tie on to them. Because they get too long for it to remember. And that's when bad things start to happen. Like made up characters, made up places starts to hallucinate so with that i think i covered everything i wanted to cover with that i will say peace